A new graphing modeling workflow will be available in the 2015B releases of FDTD solutions and mode solutions. In the new workflow, graphing is modeled using a surface conductivity rather than a volumetric permittivity as it was done in previous releases. We have been able to demonstrate that this approach is much more computationally efficient and it can reduce simulation time significantly. In order to incorporate the new surface conductivity model into the existing workflow, we have added two new key components to the user interfaces in FTTD and mode. A new surface conductivity model has been added to the materials database and a new surface object has been added to the list of geometric primitives. Here you can see how the new surface conductivity model looks in the materials database and how the new geometric primitive can be added to an FTTD simulation. These two new components will allow you to model graphing sheets in a straightforward manner and here we will briefly show you two examples of how this new functionality can be used. The first example shows you how you can use a periodic array of graphing ribbons to create a tunable terahertz metamaterial. The results that you see here for the transmitted power were obtained using FDTD solutions. The second example is an electro-optical modulator based on a graphing waveguide. The mode that you see on the slide was obtained using the finite difference second mode solver in mode solutions. If you are interested in learning about these and other examples, a webinar is available on our website that describes in more detail the new graphing functionality. In summary, a new graphing modeling workflow will be available in the 2015B releases of FDTD and mode. In the new workflow, graphene is now treated as a two-dimensional material with a surface conductivity. We have been able to demonstrate that this approach leads to faster simulations. If you have any questions about the new graphene functionality, please do not hesitate to send us an email to support at lumerical.com.